Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is our final fight of the evening, and this is for the final of the eight-man tournament. 127 pounds, Thailand taking on Thailand in the blue corner. We have Berkban Luk Mug Pet. He is 27 years old, 178 centimeters tall, 82 fights on his record, 52 victories, 27 defeats, and three draws. He's training out of Lukman Pet Gym. He's from Thailand. He's from Nakhon Ratchasima in the northeast of Thailand. And now introducing his opponent, finding out of the red corner, it is Lotus Pumpamuang. 22 years of age, 167 centimeters tall, has a total of 83 fights, 66 victories, 15 losses, and two draws. Currently training out of Pumpamuang Gym, and he is from that province in the northern part of Thailand. So just like with the Global House Tournament Final, the winner will receive the belt and they will receive 80,000 baht in tournament prize money. The runner-up in this fight will receive 40,000 baht in tournament prize money. Expecting to see a back and forth contest here. Very similar records. Incredible height advantage goes to Burkban. Okay, so as we wait for the trainers or the heads of the camp to have the last final prayer with their boxes, take the Mong Kong off, give them a bit of good luck before they go into battle. <laughs> so we will be set for three three-minute rounds of Muay Thai action. There will be a two-minute break in between the first and the second and the second and third. If we get that far, here we go. Round number one underway. Good exchange of kicks to literally kick things off here from Lotus and Burkbad. Nice push kick by Lotus. Both of them still fitting each other out until those low kicks came through. Very hard low kick there by Lotus. He's going to have to chop down those legs against a much taller Burkbad. That was a great right hand though early on from Burkbad. Caught Lotus completely off guard. Another exchange of kicks between Burkban and Lotus. At the moment, they're quite equal on the outside with the body kicks. They're very equal and showing each other a lot of respect. Burkban, though, landed flush with that right hand. Still exchanging kicks. Seems like Lotus got the better of it. More kicks landing for him. Kick to the midsection there by Buckban. Good block by Buckban. Buckban still pushing forward. Lotus with the back on the ropes. Big right hand there from Buckban. Connecting very well just as Lotus was trying to come up with some com combinations. Yeah, he's been connecting flush with that right hand so far. We're only halfway through the round. Definitely a punch that Burtman wants to go back to and wants to build his offense around Kevin. Absolutely, and why not? Because he's connected already a few times with that right hand. Why not try to find hope for it once again? And every single time he does connect it, connect with that right hand against Lotus, Lotus reacts really badly to it, I must say. Good left kick there from Burtman. Burtman with the flinch. Pushing Lotus back onto the ropes. Low kicks as well from Burtman, who's standing stern and holding the center of the ring. Yeah, not really liking Lotus having his back on the ropes so often, especially here in this first round, because it is a three round fight, not a five round fight. He can't afford to be doing this. No, he definitely cannot. He's got to try and push Burtman back. At least step laterally, don't get trapped on the ropes like that. But he's very one-dimensional, as we can see so far. 
but you never know. Could come back with something like we saw in the previous battle with Ombak. Kick to the midsection there by Ombak, but excuse me, not Ombak, Lotus. The return by Bukban. More kicking exchanges between the two. Really hard to separate them. And that's going to be the end of the first round. And now coming into the second round of action of our Ngun Chayo tournament final. Lotus Pupumong in the red corner and it's Bergban Luk Mungpet in the blue. Good connection of that right hand from Bergban. I think that was the hardest shots of the match, not counting the low kicks as well, but the right hand really did seem to rock Lotus. And for that, we can give Bergban the first round, Ali, unofficially. Unofficially, yeah, of course. I think so as well. I just thought his ring craftsmanship was a lot better than Lotus's. They're very evenly matched on the outside with the body kicks. But for me, the game changer was the right hand that kept landing flush for Burtman. And you could just tell that Lotus, as soon as it connected with him, it just stopped him in his tracks and caused a bit of effect, rocking his head back a few times. And now here we go, coming into round number two. We have to see a more aggressive Lotus. It has to be said, that first round was just not good enough. Had his back on the ropes almost the entire round, I must say. Here we go, round number two. Good right hand connecting again from Berkman, just picking up from where he left off. And changing his tactics as well, throwing the kick and then straight away throwing the right hand. Great work from Berkman. Them exchanging body kicks now. Good block of the kick by Bergban. As he continues to move forward. Trying to counter now, Lotus. That right hand might have had something in it, but it wasn't accurate enough. And no matter how aggressive you are, if you're not accurate, you don't score points. Low kicks, though, from Lotus. They look effective. Burtman in the clinch here, great side control, lock from Burtman, able to throw Lotus into the corner and land some good knees. Lotus firing back with knees as well, but they weren't as significant, and Burtman was in a much better dominant position. Yeah, what I remember about Lotus from his previous bout is that he is very good in the clinch, so maybe that's where he wants to be against Burtman. But then, then again, you think about the size difference, both of them exchanging punches now, making this a brawl. It looked like Burtman was risking it a bit there. Exchanging back with Lotus like that. It's just had such a low guard. And Lotus comes back swinging yet again. Low kick there blocked by Burtman. Punch the midsection from Burtman. It might, might have hurt Lotus quite a bit. Just Burtman keeps on changing it up. Great work so far from the fire in the blue corner. But Lotus showing that he's still in this fight. We're seeing a lot of heavy artillery from him in the boxing department. And a good lock at the clinch there, Ali. That would make a lot of clinch and fighters very impressed. And the vice grip is such a hard lock to get out of, and it's such a very useful one to use. Just crank down on the neck of your opponent and push your forehead into there neck as well at the same time while you can deliver knees right down the middle and a right hand connects down the middle again for Burtman. The concerning thing about that clinch was though how easy it was for Burtman to get to the inside. A mistake Lotus doesn't want to do again for sure. One thing's for sure Lotus is definitely better on the outside 
In my opinion, he definitely needs to keep it that way, Kevin. Yeah, he does. And he's trying to do that right now by trading blows against Bergbad. Bergbad now has become a counter puncher all of a sudden. Big elbow there from Lotus, connecting flush. And more of those, that would get his hand raised. Missing with a kick now, going for that low kick, and a big right hand there from Lotus as he initiates the clinch. That's the end of the second round. What a way to end it. And here we go, coming to the second, the third, excuse me, third and final round of action for our tournament final. Very interesting way to end that second round, both of them exchanging hard shots. Ali, I'm struggling to separate them. Who was your winner on, the, uh, on your unofficial scorecard? Oh, it's such a tough one, you know. Like, I thought I was going to give it to Burt Van again, but Lotus just came back at the, at the end of the round. A real good rally from him especially with the boxing combos and the elbow as well that he caught Burt Ban with. I think just to spice things up, I'm gonna go with Lotus, Kevin. Yep. Let's see how this final round goes as Lotus goes for that low kick. Right hand again from Lotus. Lotus is a completely different fight from what we saw in the first round. Really take the fight to Bergbad. Bergbad decides to engage in the clinch. Very messy clinch though. Both of them throwing each other around. Not what we wanted to see. Good low kicks there for both fighters. Trying to go for that big left hook, but just missing now Lotus. Bergbaum with a high kick as Lotus continues to move forward. Back into the clinch we go. Good block at the knees from Bergbaum and he gives one back. Yeah, great headlock there from Bergbaum in the clinch. He's able to get some easy points on Lotus. And on the back foot as well, but Van staying sharp, whipping out the left body kick. Now going for that right hand again, Lotus. Lotus determined to connect with something big. He is actually looking for the knockout now. When the fight started, I thought Lotus was going to try, try to go for a point victory, but instead now, here in the third round, he is looking for a knockout. That's exactly what the judges here like to see, and the viewers at home too. 100%. Great work from Burt Van using the low kicks and counter right hands as Lotus comes forward. Lotus very determined to get back in the favor of the judges. Looks like he thinks he's behind. He's been very aggressive in the third round. I think it's too little too late, Kevin, to be really honest. It might be, but as we know, in a Muay Thai match, anything can change. And I really like how Lotus is taking the fight to Burt Van right now. Low kick by Burt Van. Lotus still chasing, still following, missing with the left kick. Bergbahn trying to come back with a flying knee, but just missing, but connects with that one. Don't forget, so much is at stake here. Obviously the tournament belt, but also the prize money for first place is 80,000 baht. That's a lot of money to both these two. Lotus definitely chasing it. Bergbahn thinks that he's got it. Just the way that he's fighting on the back foot, went for Lotus to come forward. And Ali, we've seen fighters actually pay the price for that. They're so confident that they might, may have won rounds one and two, but then round three comes. They go on the back foot, and then they lose in the end. 
It has happened. We've seen it happen before. Yeah, we definitely have. Big nope. knees by Lotus to the back of the body. I'm not too sure if we're going to see it again, but the way Lotus is carrying on at the moment, it looks like he is standing in very good stead in the favor of the judges at the moment. Big land for Lotus. Another right hand attempt by Lotus. Bergman still on the ropes, trying to counter. Big right hand, both engaging in the clinch. Final few seconds of this tournament final. And that is it. So who's going to be the winner of the 127 pounds Nan Chayo tournament? We'll find out very soon at the replays for you. And then we'll get the decision. Great sportsmanship from these two. And here comes the replays. Now it's going to be very interesting to see how the judges score this one because Rook, because, excuse me, Buckby was so sure of himself in the final round that he decided to move back. But I thought the second round may have gone either way just because of how it ended. So maybe Buckby may have shot himself in the foot there. It's going to be interesting to see how the judges are going to score this one. I'm excited. Yeah, I've got to agree with you. Second round was very close, especially towards the end when Lotus just came back. And that third round to me, hey, I think you've got to give it to Lotus, how aggressive he was. We'll get the decision coming your way very soon. Great clinch work from Lotus in that round and on the outside too. Right, folks, it's good night from me, Ali McConey, and my co-host, Chaya Krit Ahmed, also known as Kevin, also known as Boy Tyra Zox. We'll see you next week on the 20th of January, right here. And ladies and gentlemen, our final bout of good the night. evening has ended. We go to the judges' scorecards for our winner. And who's the high one here, Kev? Suching Champion Chayo, Kamakan Tun Sang Tan, Hai Kanan, Yi Sip Gao, Tho Yi Sip Bad, Hai Puchina, and Hound Champion from the Blue Corner! Burn by Luke Burn Pet Cup and Puchina, Let Champ with Rob Gun Chayo, the Great Yi Sip Jet Bond, Tournament Nika, Samagan. ขาดเข็มขัดนะครับขอเจ้าดิรินเชิญคุณนุวัฒน์ไวทูลเกียรติครับรองประธานเจ้าหน้าที่บริหารสายงานทรัพยากรบุคคลบริษัทออโต้เ
ติดตามกันให้ดีครับเสาหน้ามันอีกแล้ววันนี้ต้องขอบคุณผู้สนับสนุนของเราเริ่มจากเงินชัยโยสินเชื่อจำนำทะเบียนจากบริษัทออโต้ X จำกัดในกลุ่ม SCBX ครับขอบคุณ Global House ศูนย์รบวัสดุก่อสร้างและของตกแต่งบ้านครบวงจรครับตอนนี้มาถึง83สาขาแล้วนะครับผมล่าสุดมีที่ชุมพรครับอย่าลืมเข้าไปช็อปของดีกันนะครับผมขอบคุณสมินซัมบิ๊กนะครับผมแล้วก็ทวินสเปเชียลประกอบมวยทวินส์มาตรฐานระดับโลกนะครับผมสำหรับผมแมทินีและ l อลเดอร์ซีซูเปอร์แชมป์เจอกันใหม่คราวหน้าครับผมสวัสดีครับ